Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Frederick Villa, and I'm the founder and managing director of the Integritas Group. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our presentation on second citizenship focused on Grenada with the option of an E2 visa to live in the United States of America. My colleagues and I from Integritas will guide you through the whole process. Mr. Mohamed Asharia from Range Developments will explain how the program works and Mr. Percival Clowden, CEO of the Grenada CBI unit, will say a few words from Grenada. Our presentation will end with a Q&A session to reply to your questions, which I ask you to write on the chat available during the full presentation. Let's start with some information on the Integritas Group. The group is a multidisciplinary firm offering residence and citizenship by investment services company setup and administration, and wealth management, amongst other services. It, was, it is headquartered in Malta and has offices in Switzerland, Dubai, Algeria, Cape Town, Ho Chi Minh, Lille and Baku. The group was set up in 2012 and grew to become one of the leaders in immigration industry thanks to a high quality of personalized services, trust, commitment to deliver bespoke to so solution to its clients. Our team of immigration experts will follow you during all your application process and guide you until your application is successful and beyond. So for now, sit back and enjoy a nice video on the Integritas Group. Thank you very much and see you soon. Integritas Group, Corporate, Residence and Citizenship Services. Your guide to personal and financial services in Malta and throughout the European Union. From attaining a Maltese passport, acquiring Maltese residency, allowing you visa-free access to 168 countries, including all EU member states, the USA and Canada, to setting up companies and physical offices in Malta. From mergers and acquisitions to setting up a trust account, the professionals at Integritas Group will expertly handle your personal, business and corporate needs. How about professionals who are trained to work both with local Maltese as well as European regulations? Then allow the Integritas Group to guide you towards financial security and expansion on the sunny shores of Malta. Integritas Group is the clear choice for firms and individuals looking to manage their businesses and assets from the Mediterranean island nation of Malta. From company incorporation, mergers and management to establishing personal residency or locating physical or virtual offices in Malta, Integritas Group's integrated services provide you with a centralized, knowledgeable hub for your business planning. Residence by investment. Ask for our specialist advice on the intricacies of obtaining residence in Malta by investment. Citizenship by investment. For exemplary business leaders who would like to invest in Malta's economy or have a second passport and obtain EU citizenship whilst not necessarily relocating to Malta. Company incorporation. Take advantage of Malta's advantageous taxation and educated English-speaking workforce. Company administration. Let us know how we can help you with the day-to-day -day services of your company. Corporate structures. Put our organizational experience to work for you. Mergers and acquisitions. Let us strategize and organize the growth of your corporation. Redomiciliation of companies and registration of branches in Malta. Expand your business into the EU trusts. Let us ensure the future of your assets. Business office spaces. We can offer business office spaces and services to suit the needs of professionals, startups, remote agencies and companies. From virtual offices, shared office space to private office space. Property acquisition and rental. Plant your feet in sunny Malta. Let us assist you in setting up offices and the acquisition of property for investment purposes. The Integritas Group's team of experts 
offers a host of financial services for all your individual and corporate needs. Explore how we can guide you toward the security and expansion of your assets. With over 30 years of expertise in Swiss private banking, EU trusts, immigration and an international network of partners, Integritas is uniquely experienced to let you take advantage of the unique services, opportunities and structures of Malta while having reach into the EU. By integrating our expertise in corporate services with our native knowledge of the advantages from Malta's laws, we provide our clients with practical, long-term and tax-efficient solutions. Our commitment to you is to provide prompt, individualised attention that maximises your investment and optimises your time. Learn more about our background and how our experience uniquely qualifies us to establish your business in Malta. Get in touch. Contact Integritas by calling plus 356 2385 0611 or online by visiting our website at integritas-trustees.com. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our exclusive webinar focused on Green Earth Citizenship by Investment Program. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Batuli Msebabe, and I'm the Executive Director of Integritas Swiss Consulting, which is the subsidiary of Integritas Group in Switzerland. I am also in charge of the development of the offices in Dubai, as well as Azerbaijan and African markets. We work both with citizenship by investment stakeholders, property providers worldwide, in order to assist our clients and the applicants in their projects. Today, we are more than happy to introduce to you one of our main partner in the Caribbean island, Ranch Development with the Managing Director, Mohamed Asaria. He will guide us through the requirement of Grenada passport, the time frame, and most importantly, the E2 visa linked to the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's welcome together Mr. Mohamed Asaria from Ranch Development. Thank you. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mohamed Asaria, co-founder and managing director of Range Developments. We are the leading developer of resorts in the Caribbean in countries which have second citizenship programs. At the outset, let me tell you a little bit about second citizenship. It's just that. An individual, through making an investment in one of our projects, in one of the countries in which we operate, is entitled to apply for second citizenship of the relevant jurisdiction. Over the years, since 2012, when we founded this company, we've been active in the islands of St. Kitts, Dominica, and in Grenada. And in those time, we've become the leading developer in the Caribbean under this sector of capital raising. In the past seven years, Range Developments has become the leading developer in the Caribbean, specializing in citizenship by development. In fact, we're the only developer which has delivered on our objectives and we're the only developer which has delivered on your objectives and opened um, luxury hotels across the Caribbean. Grenada has had a second citizenship program for a number of years. It recently gained prominence in 2019 after it made a number of legislative changes. An investor is required to invest $220,000 in the Six Senses Resort and Spa to be entitled to apply for citizenship. Why would an individual wish to obtain second citizenship of a wonderful island like Grenada? First of all, Second Citizenship of Grenada provides for worldwide mobility to 140 countries without the need for a prior visa or a, he may obtain a visa on arrival. The list of countries is truly impressive. It includes the United Kingdom, Schengen, Russia, China. And Grenada is alone in that because it is one of the only countries in the world which provides its citizens to visa-free access to China. Would the family's applicant also be included in the Granada and E2 uh, visa process? In addition, Grenada offers the investor the opportunity to also include eligible dependents as part of the citizenship application. 
The definition of dependence is very generous on the island of Dominica and includes the ability to include one's grandparents, parents, grandchildren and siblings in the citizenship application. Does the applicant need to spend days in Grenada? Grenada permits dual citizenship. Investors are not required to visit or reside in Grenada. A process of desktop due diligence is carried out before citizenship is granted. An investor must keep the investment for five years, following which the investment may be sold to another investor who can also use the same investment unit to qualify for second citizenship, whilst the original investor maintains his investment for perpetuity. The investment is expected to yield between 2 to 5% once the hotel is completed, once the Six Senses Hotel is completed. The investor is entitled to stay at the Six Senses Hotel for two weeks every year once the hotel is operational. And during construction, that investor is given the privilege to either spend two weeks at the Park Hyatt Resort or the Kempinski Dominica. Grenada is unique in another way in that its citizens may be able to live and invest in the United States by availing of the United States E2 Visa Treaty. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll progress onto that momentarily. So ladies and gentlemen, as we progress, you can see from the table on the screen behind you, the advantages of each of the Caribbean second citizenship opportunities. You will see from the sheet that all are priced in the same range. And that is an investment in real estate requires a minimum investment of approximately $220,000. You have to look at the benefits each country awards to determine which one is the most cost effective and the right one for your family. Grenada has three distinct advantages. It offers wide visa free travel similar to the other islands, but it has the additional advantage of offering its citizens visa free travel to China. It also has the most generous definition of dependents, siblings, parents, grandparents, children can all be including, but most of all, it offers the opportunity for investors to reside in the United States through the E2 option. This is just an option. It does an investor doesn't need to necessarily proceed with the further step of taking the E2 um, visa after he obtains his Grenadier citizenship. However, it's an option which can be of significant advantage to one's future generations at a future point of time, if not immediately. As you can see from the screen, Grenada has very wide visa-free travel, and this is illustrated on the schematic. A significant portion of the world's surface area can be traveled as a citizen of Grenada. Grenada's economy is not just limited to tourism. It has a very developed offshore education sector and boasts one of the largest offshore medical schools. St. George's University was founded in 1977 and is proud to boast that 1% of the world's doctors have graduated from this facility. Indeed, over a thousand students on an annual basis go from St. George's University to do their residency in the United States under reciprocal arrangements. Quite impressive for an island of 130,000 people. One of the things which I mentioned earlier is the efficiency and expediency of the program. As you can see from the case studies on the slides in front of you, all of these applications were recently approved in less than 90 days. Indeed, we have recently seen approvals coming in close to 60 days. This is a fantastic achievement from the new Citizenship by Investment team. The team in Grenada's Citizenship by Investment unit take a stringent approach to due diligence. Not only do they work expediously once a file is received, but they also ensure the integrity of the Citizenship by Investment program is maintained by undertaking the strictest due diligence checks. In 1983, Grenada was invaded by the United States. Grenada at the end of the Cold War was very close with the Russian Federation and the Cubans, and this was causing some concern to the United States given its geographical proximity. As part of the reparations of war, Grenada was awarded a US E2 visa treaty. This at its simplest state, that a citizen of Grenada can make a subsequent investment in the United States of between $100,000 to $300,000 in that individual's own business, be that an extension of the individual's business in his home country or the establishment of a new business in the United States or acquiring a franchise. And that individual, after an interview at the nearest US consul to where he resides or in Barbados, the nearest consulate to the island of Grenada, can obtain an E2 visa. An E2 visa permits the applicant, his spouse and children below the age of 21 to move to the United States and can be obtained in as little as six weeks. 
the conditions are that individual must retain at least 50% of that business and retain the ability to direct and develop that business at more than just a board level position. The E2 visa may be extended indefinitely. Its initial validity is for five years and allows an individual multiple entry into the United States. It is key to note that this is classified as a non-immigrant visa. Hence, if an investor spends less than 122 days in the United States, he is not liable for US taxation on his worldwide assets, just on the income which is generated in the United States. Historically, the path to migrate to the United States was through the EB-5 program, the green card program, which I'm sure all of you have heard from. And we've prepared this table which shows the key differences. I wouldn't call them advantages. I wouldn't call them disadvantages. The key differences between the EB-5 program and the E-2 program. First of all, what is noteworthy is that 40,000 people each year enter the United States on the E-2 visa treaty. This compares to a 10,000 limit on the EB-5. Granted, that is an artificial cap imposed by legislation. However, it shows the popularity of the E-2 visa program. The E-2 visa program has been exist in existence since eight in the 1800s. Thank you, Mohammed. How long does the full process last until the applicant receives the E-2 visa? Some of the key points I'd like to highlight from this table is the processing time. Under an EB-5 application, today, the minimum length of time taken to obtain your green card is between 4 to 15 years depending on your nationality. If you're Indian or born in India, you have a wait period of at least 7 years. If you're Chinese, that can go up to as high as 15 years. If you obtain second citizenship of Grenada, which takes a total of three months, you can then obtain an E2 visa within a two to three month period from there. So all in all, within six months, you can achieve the American dream and be living in the United States. In addition, what is critical is from the end of last year, the minimum investment amount under the EB-5 program was raised to 1.8 million. There are certain exceptions if you are investing in what is known as a targeted employment area, an area of high unemployment, that amount is reduced to 900,000. When it comes to the E2, there is no minimal investment amount stipulated in the statute. It must be substantial, which is defined as between 100 to 300,000 dollars in your own business. And that is a key difference with most of the EB-5 opportunities. You're investing in your own business and the profit and loss is based on your effort and your business skill. Another point I would like to raise, which is clearly echoed on this table, is that again, if you're in the United States for less than 122 days as an E-2 visa holder, you're not subject to tax on your worldwide income, which is a very important advantage and must be considered when any, when any immigration strategy is undertaken. When as we talk about immigration, a key benefit of the E-2, which is also consistent with the EB-5 in full fairness, is that your children are entitled to free education in the state system below the age of 18 and subject to achieving the residency requirements. Children between the ages of 18 to 21 may avail in-state tuition rates at, US, at certain eligible U.S. universities. On the slide behind us, you can see a number of examples of U.S. E-2 visas which have been issued to Grenadian citizens. Thank you, Mohamed. What are the costs to obtain the Grenada citizenship and then the USA visa? Ladies and gentlemen, let's focus on the cost. An investor is required to invest a minimum of $220,000 in the Six Senses Hotel to apply for citizenship. 10% of this is paid at the outset in addition to the amounts highlighted in, in pink. This is a worked example for a family of four with two children below the age of 16. The amounts may vary based on the ages of your children and other dependents. The total amount here is 300,000 US dollars, 80,000 is paid to the government, 220,000 is your investment. Let me stress once again, the $220,000 investment may be resold after five years to another investor who may also apply for citizenship while you and your family retain your citizenship in perpetuity and you can pass this benefit down for generations. A little bit more about the development in Grenada. We're very pleased to have partnered with the Six Senses Hotel brand. The Six Senses Hotel brand was acquired by the International Hotel Groups last year in a mammoth transaction. 
Over the last three years, it has come to be recognized as one of the world's leading hotel brands. It was named by Travel and Leisure as the leading hotel brand for the past three consecutive years. Six Senses Hotel brand is widely recognized that it is the industry leader in developing sustainable luxury resorts and spread across 20 countries of the world. As we flick through the renderings on the slides behind me, you'll see the spa of the Six Senses La Sagesse Grenada set over a beautiful lake. You'll see one of the beach restaurants. You'll see the swimming pool and beach area, as well as some of the residential product which is going to be built on the adjoining hillside. The internal architecture is as beautifully designed as the externals. We're very pleased to have an award-winning design team across all disciplines which have come from all over the world which have an experience in designing ultra luxury resorts. In conclusion, over the past eight years, Range has become a leader in development in the Caribbean. Not only has this happened because we deliver on our promises to you, our investors, and our promises to the countries in which we operate. We also integrate in the local communities in which we operate. We have a very active corporate social responsibility program and we've assisted the local communities in which we've operated in times of need. Our social portfolio is as diverse as it is impactful and we work with families, with children, with entrepreneurs and societies to assist them achieve their aims and objectives. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and thank you for your attention today. Thank you, Mohammed, for such a thorough presentation on citizenship by investment in Grenada. It's time to move forward with our webinar. My name is Victoria Zotova and I'm Business Development Manager in the Tegritus Group. I'm responsible for the development of the African market in our company. Today, it's my absolute honor to introduce to you Mr. Percival Clowden, who is the chairman of Grenada Citizenship by Investment Unit. He will tell you much more about investment opportunities in this beautiful country, Grenada. Please welcome Mr. Percival Clowden. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Percy Clowden. Uh, presently the CEO of the Citizenship by Investment Unit. Um, the CBI uh, program is significantly important to the economic development and foreign direct investment to Grenada, Carhu and Pity Martinic. Um, we are delighted to have the range development um, at La Sages. Um, I think it's an important development for the people of the parish of St. David's and the north of the country. Um, for too long we have seen developments in the south of the country. Um, it would alleviate certain financial difficulties of the population in the St. David's area um, simply because they will find work and I know the range development um, six senses would employ some four to five hundred uh, construction workers with which is a temporary thing but um, on completion of the hotel um, it will employ approximately 200 to 300 permanent employees and I'm sure those employees will come from the area in which the hotel is being developed. The Range family um, has delivered developments in Dominica, in St. Kitts and now they have begun work in Grenada. We are positive that the delivery will be the same. Um, we here do not want, we do not encourage and we do what we have to do to ensure projects are completed and based on the track record of the range development, Six Senses brand, we are confident that this project 
will be completed within budget and time. So I think we have almost all our speakers here. I'm just waiting for Frederick to join us by a camera. Um, okay, now we see everyone. Perfect. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are happy to have you all here. And I hope you enjoyed our presentation and you've had all the information that you required uh, for on citizenship by investment in Grenada. Uh, right now, we would like to ask you to start our Q&A session. We received quite a lot of questions, uh, but we selected um, most relevant one. I'm sorry if you won't listen your question uh, here. If you won't listen your question here, please contact us uh, via email or WhatsApp that you currently see on your screen, and we promise that we'll answer all your questions. So today we have uh, here live uh, Mr. Frederick Villa, who is the managing director and founder of Integritas. Uh, we have Mohamed Asaria, who is uh, the CEO uh, of uh, Range Developments. And we also have Batulim Sebabe, who is uh, executive director of Integritas Swiss Consulting. And you have me as a moderator. My name is Victoria Zotova, and I'm business development manager at Integritas Group. So let's go to our questions. Uh, first question goes to Mohammed. I think um, some clients could be a bit confused who they should contact uh, in order to get the old the information and start with the procedure on uh, Grenada citizenship by investment because they see there are two companies associated. So uh, a lot of clients ask this question actually. Sure, well, thank you for the question. And the fact we're being asked this question is a good thing because it shows people are very interested to uh, proceed. So really, they should contact you, Victoria, or one of your team, um, their relationship manager. So look, we are the developer and my role is to build a building and Integris is your advisor and they're there to assist you with the full application from beginning to end. We've worked very well with them. We have a long history with them and delighted to recommend them as a, as a fantastic partner on the citizenship by investment side. Okay, thank you very much, Mohammed. We will be waiting for all your requests and questions and we'll be happy to respond to them and proceed uh, with you on this journey to Grenada citizenship. Uh, next question that I have is to Frederick. Uh, so the potential client is asking whether he can reside in Germany as a Grenadian because uh, he saw during the webinar that uh, you allowed uh, visa-free travel to uh, most of the EU countries with Grenada passport. So will he be able to live in Germany with Grenada passport? Thank you, Victoria, and uh, welcome to, to everybody. Uh, yes, of course, uh, Grenada passport offers a number of uh, visa-free traveling uh, possibilities to a number of countries. Uh, but this in certain countries, uh, for example, the EU is limited to 90 days. If you wish to reside in, uh, in Germany, uh, for example, you will have to apply for a residence permit in that country. But it will be a facilitated process thanks to the uh, uh, visa uh, facilitation that the Grenada passport offers. Okay, sounds uh, great. Thank you very much for the precision. Uh, next question goes to Batulim. Uh, shall a client expect any hidden cost during the procedure? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Victoria, for your question. Yes, um, this is a very relevant question because when it comes to these programs, uh, our main question is how much it's going to cost and then uh, with, uh, what are the costs? Yeah. So, um, in Integrators Group, our first gate when a client decides to uh, purchase uh, this such of investment, uh, we do call something that is a sales purchase agreement. So, in this format, 
we generally have, we gather the information of the applicant, his spouse, the, the dependents, because the one who made the, the, the application uh, cost and a bit variable is the dependent. So uh, we don't know at the stage one if he has grandparent or grandchildren. So at the phase of the SPA, we will be able to come up with a very clear uh, cost uh, expenditures, like uh, Mr. Uh, Mohammed Asari have shown us to, in uh, the presentation. Everything is clear. And I think uh, we are still working like this to make sure that the client knows where he's going if you are talking about the finances. So yes, there will be no uh, hiding costs because we don't uh, want the client to feel bad. Our job is to make him feel good. And then the right nice is to give him the right costs. Okay, thank you very much for the information. Next question goes to Mohammed. Uh, so the, the client is asking, uh, what is the timeline for both procedures, just for Grenada passport and Grenada passport plus E2 visa? So from the moment that actually the client says, I'm ready to proceed to the moment that actually he becomes uh, the prior holder of Grenada passport and the E2 visa. Mohammed. I think that the, the microphone of Mohammed is switched off. Yes. Ahmed, you need to switch on your microphone. Yes. It's okay. Thank you. That's great. So the, the, Grenada, the Grenada portion takes three to four months. Um, even with the current lockdown, applications are being received online electronically um, and being processed within a 90-day period. Um, the E2 process takes another six to eight weeks. So all in all, with the Grenada and E2 visa, um, it's an approximately six-month period. Okay, sounds good. It's indeed very, very fast, taking that nowadays immigration procedure really takes long. Uh, next question goes to Frederick. Uh, what is the health uh, healthcare situation like in Grenada? Shall the client, will the client be happy with the health care provided in Grenada or how sh should he go to Miami or neighboring U US uh, in order to get a decent health care? Frederick, I'm afraid your microphone is off. So. Yes, Frederick, your microphone is... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> as I was saying, uh, as we saw in the presentation, Grenada has one of the best healthcare systems and uh, facilities in, in all the Caribbean. So uh, there would be no necessity for uh, uh, even specialized uh, uh, healthcare to, to go abroad. Uh, Grenada offers what is needed. Uh, then, of course, uh, more specialized uh, and doctors uh, are everywhere. But it is very important to, to see that as a center of health care of high quality. Okay, sounds great. So you are sound and safe uh, when you are in Grenada as a citizen of Grenada. Absolutely. Uh, next question to Batulim. Uh, can a client work and set up a business in other CARICOM countries? Oh, uh, yes, of course. And, and this is the main advantage of a uh, Grenadian passport. Uh, look, if you see the situation, the geographic situation of these islands, uh, I think uh, you might be like to expand all of them. And you mentioned it to the CARICOM. The CARICOM is uh, the this federation of these 15 uh, islands uh, that have the same rule. It's like in here in Europe, uh, the, law, the, law, the law allow us uh, as a, a citizen of France to live maybe in, in Switzerland or in Germany to relocate very easy. In the CARICOM law, they agree since uh, I think July 23rd, uh, 2013, correct me Mohammed if I'm wrong. Uh, yes, any kind of city, any citizen of Grenada is allowed to live and work uh, in uh, other islands. What you want to do is just to show a document that prove your citizenship like my passport is entitled to Grenada, and I decide to live in, uh, in uh, St. Kitts in Nevis. Yes, that is possible. You can set your company, you can set your businesses, open the bank account, and it's really, really, really that important that Grenada has this uh, type of uh, uh, um, uh, straightforward, if I may say, because Mohammed said that we did now, we increase at least 60 days. So those are very huge indicator, and I encourage uh, our, all our participants to book on Grenada. It has a lot of advantages we can share later on. Okay, thank you very much. So it works like a, a bit like a European Union and CARICOM, correct? Exactly. Okay, thank you. Next question goes to Mohammed. Is there religious freedom in Grenada? Absolutely. So Grenada, 
basically takes a lot of its cultural aspects from the UK and the US. Um, and there's all sorts of freedoms in, the, in Grenada, um, religious and many others. It's a very liberal society. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, next question to Frederick. Uh, does Integritas help uh, to open uh, a company and uh, bank accounts in Grenada? Yes, uh, Integritas is specialized also in uh, uh, setting up your business and this uh, works very well in Grenada. Grenada is uh, uh, very attractive and is promoting its uh, island and economy to come and set up business there. Uh, they are excellent tax treaties and as a Grenada citizen, of course, you would have uh, advantages. Uh, it is though more important uh, and essential that you first obtain your citizenship and then we will be able to uh, help you with setting up your business there. Okay, thank you for very detailed information. My question goes to Batulim. Uh, how much the client should invest to qualify for E2 visa? And also the client is a bit concerned whether he should uh, take care of the business in USA or it's already existing prepackaged solutions that we can offer because not everyone, they would like to have an investment visa to go to USA, but not everyone has actually time to manage the business in a new country. Okay, thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, Victoria. I, I will really want to um, answer this question. But as far as we have a very special guest among us in this webinar, which is Mohammed, I think Mohammed, from his expertise on Grenada and EU2 visa, uh, might be the one who can leave this question, although I'm burning to answer it. But I think we all want to have your insights uh, to give us much more punches. Thank right? you. Thank you okay. for the time. And you know, it's a very sensible question. So by law, it's not defined. The law says it has to be a substantial investment. And what else does the law say is that you need to retain the ability to direct and develop um, the business that you're investing in. So really by custom, the investment is typically in the region of 100 to $150,000 at the minimum. Mm -hmm. However, I stress it's in your own business. So if Frederick decided he was going to set up Integritas in the United States, he got a Grenada passport and that was his E2 business, um, you know, 100 and 150,000 would be his minimum, but then it would be based on his business plan. How much does he need to establish that business? Um, and that's really the sort of questions which are going to be asked during the E2 interview. Does the business plan make sense? And does the investor maintain his um, ability to direct and develop that business? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for the group yeah. answer. Yeah, so, maybe, maybe, maybe if you allow me, I have two precision because most of the time uh, our client, uh, uh, they are all asking for this question. So I want to know a right amount, uh, like uh, um, Mohammed just said, uh, there is there's by law not right amount. So if I may say, okay, you have to entitled to be uh, conducting 50% of the share of the capital, and I don't want to share 50 capital. It means, I don't know, 150. I can put a million if I have it and all run my own business by my own. So I think it depends on the, um, the appetite of the clients of growing his business in America. So the amount can be from 100, from 200, for everything, because America is a very land where everything is successful. So yeah, uh, there is no minimum amount. But when it comes uh, to set up a business, remain a consequent investment is required. Okay, thank you very much. You know, it's, it's your business, you're controlling your destiny, you yeah. need to determine the capital, and your effort will determine the profit or loss of that business. Okay, sounds good. So practically the client doesn't lose this money. If they invest money in Grenada, they invest money in USA, so it's a perfect opportunity as a, with the kind of uh, with the money guaranteed there. So it's not like the fees that you pay, which is the case for many citizenships. So it's, I think sounds great. It's a great opportunity for the client. Um, next question, I think due to time limitation, we, I will have to, this question will be the last one. Uh, so uh, the client is asking whether he should pass a language test in order to obtain the Grenada citizenship and subsequently the E2 visa. Shall I take this question? Yes, yes, please, Frederick. Okay, thank you, Victoria. Uh, there is no, there is no requirement of language uh, uh, when you uh, apply for the passport, neither in Grenada nor in uh, in the U.S. 
uh, it is often the case in other countries and, and that could be a deterrent uh, for, for applicants. Uh, but in this case, uh, no requirement, uh, your mother tongue is uh, fine and there is no test and no requirement. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe, yes, maybe Mohammed has something to add to it uh, for the E2 visa. Yeah, correct, spot on. So for Grenada, there's no language requirement. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when you go for an interview, um, you're allowed to take a translator, but they will quiz you, you know, how you're going to manage a business on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, so it's, we would advise, I'd say, 50% knowledge of English. Um, and then, um, you know, if you're maybe one of your family who's also joining, one of your children speaks fluent English, that will all add to the whole uh, story um, that you're going to be successfully be able to manage your business in the United States. So that's really what they're looking for on the E2 visa side. So to sum up, it's not obligatory, but kind of advisable if you would like to invest in E2 visa. Correct. But for Grenada, there's no language or education requirements. Okay. Sounds great. So... Our questions are over. If any participants have more questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via the, the email that you currently see on the screen or the WhatsApp number. I would like, first of all, to thank all our participants who joined this beautiful webinar and uh, who are dreaming and I think hope on a way away to start their procedure for the Grenada Citizenship by Investment. I also would like to thank our panelists for such a thorough uh, explanation of all the procedures. I think uh, everything was very clear. Uh, so I'll give, I'll give you the word to sum up the, this presentation, this webinar, so that uh, we can uh, start uh, accepting our request for the Grenada citizenship. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you for this and thank you for being our moder moderator here. Uh, I would just like to add that at Integritas, we're very impatient of, uh, to welcome you and uh, start the process. But before starting the process, there are more questions. Uh, there are things to clarify. Uh, take your time, contact us. We're here for you. If anything is unclear or if you need anything from us, uh, we're here for you and we will work hard to uh, bring you through this process as quick as possible and smoothly as possible. That is what we do here and we're specialists in that. Thank you very much to everybody for listening to us and uh, we, we wait for you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, um, uh, my dear panelists. Thank you very much, Victoria, for monitoring this webinar. I just want to thank our, part, our participants from uh, South Africa, from Kenya, from Togo, from Ghana, from uh, where, where, Dubai. Uh, uh, very good, uh, especially a client for Mr. C. Saloon. But what I want to say before concluding is uh, why Grenada? We have been traveling uh, through uh, um, South Africa, Cape Town, uh, Johannesburg, where we have our cities. We have been traveling in Kenya to establish this strong partnership. And then with Mohammed last year, we, were, we set up an, a conference mm -hmm. in uh, South Africa to promote all this uh, program. And why Grenada this? You, my, my fellowship, I'm very insisting on it because nowadays we have an update coming from, for example, America. America have liberated some ban on some countries. I'm not here to make politics on countries, okay? I'm just here to talk business, how we can make global mobility succeed at businesses. So, Nigeria, for example, is banned for, to traveling and residing in America. The traditional way to get American uh, green card and then the citizenship is the EB-5. But guess what? Uh, now the queue to, to file the application for uh, EB-5 is about maybe two or three years first. And then the course have been raised minimum from 500 to 1.3 million. And then uh, you still have to choose your strict taxation in uh, America. Don't know that maybe you will be relocating one day to Switzerland, for example. Let me tell you something. The easy way we can get through America, but if you are in this situation, it's Grenada. Because listen, if you are spending $1.3 million in America, I want to make you, I want to save, spare you money. You know how? Because as according to uh, Mohammed's presentation, with at least $300,000, 
I already have a share in the six Celsius hotels. Very exciting. This means it's a smart investment. What we call smart investment is to invest some kind of money, get a return, plus a master key. And Grenada card, passport, is your master key now. I can be able to travel, to set my business in this dreamed America because I've been Grenadian and I have a E2 visa. And then it will make cost less than going directly to uh, EB5 program where I don't know the developer. I don't know this regional center. Now, today, I'm very happy because you meet our partner, uh, Mohammed and Rand Development, with whom we have built a very strong relationship. So, please contact us. You can even raise your hand to make a sign that we can be contacting you because you are much more interested in Grenada and then sending you the right document and maybe insight to enable you to go forward and file this application. I really think that you have to believe in it. It's a master key. Thank you very much. Great. Well, sh should I say a few words in conclusion? Yeah. So look, we are very pleased and very proud to partner with Integritas on this initiative. As I mentioned before, they're a fantastic firm who've uh, worked very closely with us on citizenship by investment applications. Uh, Batulam has come up with uh, some very in ingenious ideas for a number of individuals from West Africa um, to access the United States in a, in a quick period of time. My job here is to build a resort, which you're all very proud to invest in. Um, and please feel free to contact Victoria and her colleagues um, to, to start your citizenship application. In the post-COVID world, second citizenship is a asset class which every high net worth investor needs to be looking at very seriously. And now is not a time to get another degree in hindsight, unfortunately. So um, that concludes what I have to say. And um, I look forward to welcoming you to Grenada. Thank you very much, Mohammed. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you for these kind words. Thank you. Okay. Victoria, your microphone is off. I think everyone had their turn uh, when their microphone was off. So this yes. was my <laughs> turn to finalize it. So thank you one more time to everyone. Uh, please send us uh, your requests, uh, your questions. We will be more than happy to help. And we're always here waiting for you. We're your trusted partner in your citizenship uh, by investment in Grenada. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And see you in Grenada. See you in Grenada. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. And see you.